Taylor is uh, friendly and very personable. She just knows how to take the English curriculum and the techniques that she has to teach and make them relevant and apply them in a way that students are able to connect. Miss Dimmitt is very enjoyable. She likes to put herself out there to kids that she meets and she can be very funny and she likes to get all of the kids involved with what we're learning. But she tries to make the activities like fun, like maybe like a group project or something that is like teaching you but, but at the same time like it's an enjoyable time. So it's pretty common that kids do not like English by the time they get to high school. They get very burnt out on reading and then they immediately ask me first day, how many essays are we gonna write? And I can tell they have a countdown because they're gonna be done after that last one. And I love my students, I care about them so much, and I tell them all the time, like, I want good things for you. I know that you can do this even if you don't think that you can do this. When I first was in this class, I wasn't a huge fan of English, and I wasn't, I'm not very good at writing, so I wasn't really happy to be writing a whole lot. But uh, I feel like Miss Dimmitt helped me improve to become more, a better writer, and she helped me to and enjoy writing. Before this year had started, like I wasn't a fan of ELA. I mean, I'm not really good at reading, but she like taught me how to learn the like ELA, like if that makes sense. Like, and I think it's just cool, like the way she teaches, you're learning, but at the same time, you don't even know you're in school because you're having a good time. I think it's really important as an English teacher that we're building a love for reading and a love for writing in a way that's very authentic. And so that's something I try to do in here. We don't all read the same thing. If a student comes in to me not liking reading, I always start them with a graphic novel because they typically love TV and movies and I can say, hey, we love a comic. Let's try a comic because comics count as reading. Graphic novels count as reading. And so that's what we work on in here. If you have a student that is reluctant in English class or they've decided that they are not a reader or a writer, uh, you want them to have Miss Dimmitt. She is going to connect with them and help them to see that learning can be fun, that English class can be fun, and that it's something that can benefit them in all of their classes. She's just an amazing teacher. But they're so authentically themselves, and it makes me as a teacher feel like I can authentically be myself. And I know that they're going to bring their individuality to the class, and so I'm able to do that in return. And I love that we just get to be real together they're my people. They're my people. <laughs> she takes time to find out uh, how, how are you doing and you know is there anything I can do for you? She asks that question often. I do want to teach you English but ultimately I want my kids to know that they're loved and that I think they are wonderful and if they are able to see hey if Miss Dimmitt thinks I'm wonderful maybe I am then that's the goal. Miss Dimmitt I wanted to thank you for how you helped me improve in all of my reading and writing in all of the subjects that you helped me with and thank you for being such a very enjoyable person in my life. I want to thank you Ms. Dimmitt for all the times you've pulled me to the side and like made sure everything's okay, everything's positive in my life and I just want to thank you for like all the times you just helped me out with everything. I just want to thank you.